And today, guys, we are going to show you how to get these end portal blocks in survival and get the tiles and everything and use them to make the super coolest house you've ever seen. Guys, tell me you don't want this to be your house in your survival Minecraft world. Everybody will be like, what the heck? MCPE and Bedrock for the win. Hey there guys, Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you with a super cool, awesome hype tutorial. Guys, how awesome is this? I blocked myself in by accident. <laughs> I blocked myself in, I blocked myself in, so I busted the window. But as you can see guys, we have got a way in survival to get the end gateway porthole blocks. They do not work or send you anywhere in the overworld as you can see. So you can use them as building blocks. All you got to do is glitch them out and then duplicate them and you can build entire buildings that are what so awesome tell me you do not want to make your whole entire house out of this come on you want to make your house out of this this is awesome so for this one here guys let's go for 413 likes if you are down with the cause don't forget to hit me up below guys so twitter always follow me on the twitter and uh, yeah you could get news of all kinds of cool stuff like this every single time and uh, yeah so let's do this guys i saw this started out by a guy named eclectic pack on reddit so <clears throat> I had to adapt it a little bit. His didn't quite work. The, the wither kept falling and I had to add a piece of obsidian. But long story short, I'm going to link his actual post right on Reddit. So you could go there and, you know, upvote it or do whatever the people do on Reddit. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It uses an old glitch where you kind of track the wither and you trap him. Except he doesn't get trapped anymore, but he does blow up this tile. Once he blows up this tile, you can collect it, take it over here and duplicate it. And then build entire houses out of portal block. Oh my god, so good. So, uh. What we're gonna do is, you know what? I'm just gonna head on over. Since this is a, since this is a, this is an old Let's Play world, so I have it on creative mode, back and forth, just to show stuff off. So what we'll do is use this. It has a nice end. It has a nice end portal with uh, tons of gateways. So let's go over there. When we get there, I'll turn it to creative, and uh, we will leave it on creative to do it because it's a little bit of a difficult glitch but like i said this is completely doable in survival all you have to do is uh yeah kill the wither at the end of it and yeah so if uh yeah we'll fight we'll time lapse this and i'll get back to you when uh, we're there and here we are in the end dimension guys this is a perfect end dimension because we have used this world thoroughly and you can see we have a lot of end actual gateways. That said, I've already tested this out a few times to make it work. You can see I have the tile in my hand. This works completely on survival. The one thing I will tell you, there's a few little tricks and tips. If you are in the end and you place this tile down and you touch it, you will just simply be sent back to the beginning where you came from just like that, as you can see. Uh, that will be the thing, but in the overworld, or in the world, uh, the yeah, the overworld, it will not send you anywhere. You could literally walk on top of it, touch it, play with it, do whatever. In addition, right when you put it down, it's going to have a beam through it. This beam will disappear, usually once you cover it with a block. Sometimes it takes a minute to kick in or do something, uh, but for the most part, eventually, at some point in time, this thing disappears. Once it disappears, you get rid of it like this, and then you have more of these blocks. So, let's do it. First things first. In survival, guys, you're going to need to get this one to start. So let's go over here. Let's go over to where I've cleared out a space and let's show you how to do this quickly. So I have one cleared out over here. Super cool. Super cool. This guy's cleared out. So once this guy's cleared out, you're going to have to know your directions. This works very similar to an old fashioned glitch where you used to kill the wither by getting him trapped in here. That does not work anymore. He will get out. But before he gets out, he will blow up this block and you will be able to pick it up in survival. We are only doing this on creative guys because believe me, you don't want to watch. It's a little bit of a task. You know, you're going to I'd say if I were you, I would cover this all up. Do it. He falls down. So after he blows it up, he goes down. Come up here, grab the tile and run out of the dang portal. So like, run, run out of the world and deal with him later. Uh, I'm not sure. It's up to you. If you have a crazy Enderman farm, you might not want to do that. So let's start this map makes sense. So what you need to know is where north and west is. So let's look right here. Bang. This is north. So as you can see, this direction is north. And as you can see, this direction is west. Those are the only two directions that matter to you right now. So let's do this. Let's grab it. You're going to need a handful of blocks, enough stuff to make a wither, and one obsidian block. So 
Let's do it. Handful of blocks. So which way is west? We had west going north. So north first. On your north side, as you can see your north side, this side here, start covering in blocks. You also need a block of wood. I don't know where the heck the wood came from. Honestly, dude, I'd never tried it without it, but I'm just going to do it with the wood. So you hit the face of all of these. Eight blocks like this. See what we just did? The face of all of them. And so, so once you have this guy here, as you can see, like I said, on the north side, North side, north side, north side, north side, switch around. We now want to make the little cross thing that comes out. We want that to go west. So make sure we're shooting west right here. It's gonna come out this way. Start on this side right here. Basically easy enough. Start by putting this guy right here, bang, just like this. That's the easy way to kind of look at it. It's gonna give you most of, most of the argument right there. You're gonna pretty much see most of the hard work is easy enough right there. And yes, yeah, so make sure you have to really make sure guys that your direction is right and that you're not doing something wrong in that sense. So uh, let's go like this. Let's switch it around. This guy here going north now. So once this guy comes out like this, we do not want to have anything sticking here. So take this guy right here. Bang like this. This guy right here out of the way. We want this guy to be gone. Then we want a wood block right here. And then... two three once this guy comes out like this we're actually going to put one more here 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 and here then we're going to put our soul sand to start off like this then we're going to come around so come around to this side guys this is the one thing that he did wrong i don't know in my opinion his version does not work i've had to put this obsidian no matter what right there once you put this obsidian right there then you're making it so he doesn't fall right through and you can see guys this is facing north this is facing west. So let's go ahead and style these guys off. Basically, what's going to happen is he's going to spawn here. He's going to explode. When he explodes, he's going to fall through. He's going to be gone. This tile will be here. Pick it up and run the heck out. It's up to you if you run or don't run. You know, it's your call. And you can see he's stuck in there. Very nice, very simple. Bang. All you're going to see is bang. He's going to explode. As you can see, he leaves. What you see right here is, guess what? There is your end tile right there. I think that's pretty good. I think, uh, you know what I want to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and, since this is, uh, you know, cool mode, D mode, I'm gonna go Ted and take a screenshot of that because I think that will make a very good thumbnail. What do you think, guys? I think that's a thumbnail waiting to happen right there. Let's do it, uh, right there, bang, perfecto. So, let's just turn our uh, back on, and there you go. So, once we have this tile, Notice, the one thing you'll notice, it, double, it does stack here, but if you're on survival, guys, you're only going to have one of these, right? You literally only got one, right? So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you if you're on survival, if you're on creative, that's it. You could just build away. You have enough. You know you're on creative like me. Just build as many of these guys as you want. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty awesome. It's like, you know, easy peasy lemon squeezy. But if you're on survival and you want to make the cool house like I have, let's go show you how to do it. This could be easily done with a duplication glitch. And I will show you right now the quick way to do it. And as you can see, we have made our way back to my house in the old school Autocraft Let's Play world. And guess what this is now? It just so happens to work good because this is where I do my duplication glitch video. So uh, if you are in survival, you're going to, you know what, let's just turn it to survival right now because uh, everybody's going to say, this isn't working good together. This is your own creative. So survival mode. So this is the only way to do it. This works for diamonds. Everybody, I've had 100,000 views on this video from like a month ago. I'm not gonna play the whole video. I'm just gonna show you quick time how I duplicate. You might wanna use this machine here that some people use because uh, if they're a little bit slower, you know what I mean? They put the thing in the box, they pull it out, and yeah, so I'm just gonna do it here. So I just use a piston, a sticky piston and a chest. I push the button and bang. So what you wanna do is empty chest. As you can see, all I have in my inventory is is this one empty spot right here where we have these let's do this right here bang i'm basically just filling it up so that you guys can see me dupe and there so we have nothing except for we have these two tiles that we need to duplicate bang let's go in here settings we're in survival mode so in survival mode in order to duplicate guys basically what i'm going to do is 
push this button, go in the chest. So, so what I'm going to do is push this button, go in the chest, and then pull that item out before the chest goes down. Like I said, there is a video. I'll link it. If you're not as quick as I am, then that's okay. This is a little difficult glitch. You can use the old school machine. So basically go in, go in, top up, bang, push down. See, I did it too fast there, but we're going to do it right. Basically push this guy back, go like this, press the button, go in, ding, ding. Not again. We'll do it again. Push the button, go in. And as you can see, mission accomplished. We now have more tiles. So the easiest thing about this one here is to use this duplication. You just take it back and then keep doing it. Slowly but surely, you will have a lot of end portal frames. Just keep going. And again, like I said, don't be hard on yourself. This is a harder glitch to do. See, we did it again, but it gets easier because every single time you do it, you're going to have more. So once we do this, you're doing eight. Every time you hit, you double. So don't be too frustrated on it. But then what you got is you have unlimited blocks of this. And there you go. So I won't even do more. You guys see the gist of it. Long story short is keep putting it back in the box. You'll keep getting more. And then guess what? You're going to have yourself a beautiful entire house made of portal. That's awesome, guys. Super unique. No one's going to know what the heck's going on in your world. They're going to say this guy's a pro. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for, uh, yeah, cool tutorials, let's plays, and stuff. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one. So it looks like breaking them is like uh, not going to happen, I guess. I guess you could try breaking <laughs> We're going to uh, back to the video. Hold on one sec. Okay, so you could break them in creative. Uh, so in survival, you want to be careful with your placement. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in. And I'll catch you on the next one for realsies this time.